What's going on you guys? Welcome back to Cloudless Indy. I'm Christian and today I'm on the Monon Trail in Carmel, Indiana. The world-renowned Carmel, Indiana. So this is going to be a running video with a beer review at the end, hopefully. Um, but just to give you a brief um, summary of what's going to happen is I'm going to start right here at the Midtown Plaza. That's where I am. Um, and then I'm going to do my warm-up walk going north to Main Street. And then that's where we're going to start our run. Um, we're going to start at Main Street, work our way south to the Carmel Water Park and Skate Park. I think that's roughly around 111th Street, somewhere around there. Um, and then we're going to do an out and back and come right back, ending our run at the Sun King Brewery Carmel Tap Room. And there may or may not be a beer review. I mean, I, I'm not sure if it's going to be a traditional beer review, but it's definitely going to be a beer drinking. Uh, so, as usual, I have my daughter with me. And, uh, well, I think it's supposed to be in the high 70s today. It's uh, slightly cloudy. But all in all, it is another beautiful day in Indy. So I'm going to get the, uh, the camera started up, and uh, we're going we're gonna to do this thing. So, uh, yeah. So, if you guys watched my half liter barbecue 5K video, same as before, very, very popular the Monon Trail is, and still very busy. Most of the places that I've run so far, like around this time of day, not a lot of people out. You know, I mean, people are working, but what it's, uh, let's see, about 11.30 right now, 11.33 and it is it's pretty busy and i'm sure the uh the later it gets the busier it's going to get <laughs> so we we may have come at maybe not necessarily the perfect time but definitely a good time the best that we could do today <laughs> and we are almost there to the um <clears throat> we are almost to main street Honestly, I didn't realize how many um, apartments and condos were like right on the trailer. Like, <laughs> like that's some people's front door right there. And on this side, it looks like possibly the front and back door. Also, along this trail in this video, you'll notice a lot of um, life like statues. Yeah, it's kind of creepy my opinion but <laughs> but it gets me every time keeps me definitely on point all right we are here we're about to make the turn around and we are gonna start this thing well I gotta start my watch first <laughs> all righty in three two one let's get it Incline here. All right, so as you guys know, that you know, I work nearby, and I have yet to have made it to this place called the Goat. So, in the past, they were shut down for some reasons, <laughs> but they decided to finally open it back up. And uh, yeah, only I've heard nothing but good things about it. But, um, but yeah, hope to one day actually check it out. We got wine and rind over there. A little wine bar and deli. All right, bye, you guys. Oh, coming, to... coming through. All right. All right. <laughs> Which way? Sorry. <laughs> 
Got the Midtown Plaza there. The Sun King Brewery and Pork and Ale. Got Garden Table. Here. Got the blonde bowling. Off there in the distance, that's the Hotel Carmichael. We're leaving Midtown and we're pretty much going to the Carmel City Center. I think that's what it's called. That's pretty much what the town hall is and whatnot. In the tunnel, there's a lot of art. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but a lot of art in this tunnel. Got the Palladium on my right here. You guys remember the AOS beer review? I talked about this place. And of course, we have the Hotel Carmichael on my left hand side. Absolutely gorgeous. As you guys can see there, so this whole parking lot, which I did not know was a parking lot, is actually the site of the Chris Kent Moth with the Christmas, Christmas Child Market, of the Christ Child Market here in Carmel. It's very well known in the U.S. I was fortunate enough to go this past winter season. We have ice skating, all kinds of German stuff. It's a good time. Highly recommend checking it out if you if you get the chance. Oh no! I think one of my one of my flags fell. That's very unfortunate. And I just broke my other flag. Okay. <laughs> oh well. I'm honestly kind of surprised that I didn't lose them the last run. So it's just bound to happen eventually. Because we're going so fast, man, you know? We're going so fast. Apparently the Monon Trail, I believe similar to the Nickel Plate Trail, used to be, oh wow, look at that, look at that you guys, it's a gym, we got cycling, got some treadmills in there, very nice, Oswell. Anyways, I'm, I guess it's one mile now. Oh. Also, I'm regretting wearing these shoes with these socks. I love these socks and I love these shoes, but they do not go well together. And they are my, um, well, I don't remember the brand, but I got them from a running store, the socks. 
in the shoes. They're my um, my New Balances, my slip-ons, 1080s. But I digress. So the Monon Trail and Nickel Plate Trail used to be railroad tracks. So a little fun fact for you there. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the traffic is, what the traffic stats are, but I would say that there are just as many cyclists who love riding the Monon as there are runners. So, and as you know, or if you didn't know, that the Monon, I want to say it's about 26 miles, a little over that. What I do know is that it is marathon length. So, if you want to practice for a marathon, this is the road to do it on. And it goes all the way from Sheridan, Indiana, I believe, ending in downtown Indianapolis. Whoa, shit. Oh. Hey! No, no! No more toys for you. All those geese, you guys. Look at that, just taking a nice bath, having a beach day, or a river or creek day. Part of me, like, I really hope I didn't pass it. Similar to the last tunnel in Midtown. Got another painted tunnel here. Very beautiful. Come on, you guys, I need to check my phone real fast. Because, well, actually, we're gonna wait to the next clearing to see where we are. Oh, might be lost. <laughs> I may have overshot my goal. Actually, I think we found it, you guys. By the way, I'm absolutely loving my pace right now. I'm feeling pretty darn good. Also, we just passed the 1.75 mile marker. Oh, wow. I don't know where that road goes. There it is, you guys. There's the water park. And I think we're coming up close on the park as well. Got it. There's a fibrillator here on the trail. Two miles you guys, two miles. Yeah, 
we're we're looking at the Mornon Community Center, and there is this compartment. It's not very big, but I'm sure it gets the job done. This is for Carmel Clay Parks and Recreation. Hey, look, and they're hiring. I'm not sure if you guys can see that up above, but they have a, um, I guess they have treadmills lined along the skyway here. Stop signing and turn it around, you guys. Maybe one day we'll go past it, but today it's just an out and back. Also, at certain points along the Monon, there are bike work stands. Oh. Something to keep in mind for you guys, for any of you cyclists out there. Looks like an offshoot here. Hey. Like I said before, you guys, lots and lots of cyclists out here. We share the road, so you gotta be careful. Also, let there be a lesson, you guys not give up if you can push a little further because just when you think you may have overshot your destination or maybe too far in reality you're already right there I got my sweat towel. And so now, I just keep getting sweat in my eyes, you guys. Rookie move, rookie move. Almost there, you guys. Oh yeah, you guys, we reached our target. Oh yeah. After the bridge, we're gonna take it down for a minute or two minute walk.
Oh shit. All right, I tried to make it a four, but um, I'm at three and a half. Super thirsty. I'm gonna take a swig, and I guess I'll see you guys back at the brewery. Oh yeah, all right you guys, fix the camera here. So, we've reached an achievement today you guys. Well I may have probably not beat my 5K record. Might be a while before I do. <laughs> but um, I consistently ran 3.5 miles today. So after I crossed the bridge and I said I was gonna walk, you know, I, I remember what I said earlier about not stopping, you know, and I may just be there. And it's true. I probably could have run oh, the full four miles today. Um, but I tell you, my thirst was killing me. I'm like, I'm so thirsty right now. And I don't think I've ever ran more than three um, without water. So, I mean, that's my first time running consistently um, three miles, let alone three and a half miles outside. Of course, as you know, I've done about five on the treadmill, but that's a sign that we are progressing. Remember you guys, that slow progress is still progress. You know, before I'd always get gassed out, or at least I would feel the tape, the, the tank going low at around two miles, and then gassing out at three and a half you know and then having to walk do walk jog intervals but this time I was actually able to implement run jog intervals so I was very happy about that you know so I was not disappointed at you know going down to a walk at three and a half miles it's a glorious day yep it's a glorious day it's a beautiful day right here on the Monon Trail. And we are back in Midtown Carmel. We're gonna go 
I'm hoping we'll be able to find a sheet upstairs. And um, have ourselves a beer, you guys. Maybe get some food. If you guys can see that. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll see you guys inside. All right, you guys, what's going on? We are officially back at the brewery, as I said. Um, it was actually a really great run. Ran about three and a half miles. Um, so we're starting at Main Street, making our way down to the Carmel Clay Parks and Recreation um, Center there. Uh, and then I think I finally walked once I got to the, um, the city center, the Carmel City Center, right by the Palladium. So that was the official three and a half mile mark, and then I walked the rest of the way back to Main Street and then back to the plaza here. Uh, my daughter's here. <laughs> About to feed her in just a moment. Um, what am I drinking? I decided to get the crispy 500, the delicious crispy 500. Uh, depending on when this video comes out, I may or may not have already did the uh, review of it. I also got a breable from um, Lamard here. And uh, yeah, I was, actually I think my favorite thing on their menu there, although their, um, their nachos are, I think their most popular um, item, but the uh, burrito bowl is my favorite personally. Just basically a burrito bowl. Burrito bowl. So, uh, so yeah, I wanna switch to the B-roll. But with that being said, I wanna thank you guys for joining me on my run. Um, and, uh, and yeah. Remember, you guys, it is another beautiful day in Indy. And uh, I'm going to leave it off with this. I'm going to make sure Autumn doesn't... <laughs> well, let me buckle her in real fast here. All right, you guys, my apologies. Um, yeah, so I couldn't finish the video <laughs> there. Um, but also, I, I didn't realize what time it is or time it was. I'm sure if you guys can see that, me there. But I wasn't sure what time it was. Time kind of got away from me a little bit. So I'm just going to do the quick salutations, you guys. Cheers. Slancha. Salud. Skol. Prost. Peace out. Did I say Nastrovia? Peace out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.